Managers weren't that desperate. That's what I'm saying. When I was active. Oh man, oh man, Tony Pena on 3 0 sends everybody home. Tony Pena spells good night against his old teammates sitting on a 3 0 pitch. And this team that won 27 games in its final at bat. And a long drive to right, and this ball is gone. Perfectly right. Way high and deep. Pull down the right field line, hooking. Fair ball and a home run for Jim Tommy. Cleveland is quickly up two to nothing. Center field, back goes Buter, back looks up and it is out of here. And finally, the Indians are coming alive. And Ramirez at it again, but Griffey going back, back, and he'll watch it sail out over the wall for Ramirez's second home run of this game. He is perfect, and the Indians lead it five to one on many Ramirez. Back-to-back -back home runs. The 2-0. A long drive to right, and tell it goodbye. Gets away, heading home is Amaro. To third is Lofton. They have no play. And now here comes Lofton all the way, and he scores. I don't question anything about this guy. Center field, Griffey has to go back, has to go way back, and this one is gone. The Indians may be putting the finishing touches on now. The finishing touches on the Buner grounds one to third. A long throw is in time. And the Cleveland Indians, after a 41-year wait, are in the World Series. This ball here and trying to go. He lands it in the center. Here comes the pitch runner Espinosa. Grissom fires to the plate.
a base hit. There will be game five tomorrow night. Into left center field. Giles is there. Celebrate. Center field, well hit. Brady Anderson at the track at the wall. He won't get this one. Manny Ramirez, a two-run first inning home run. And the Indians jump out in front here in game two. He represents a tying run. And the left center field, deep left center field. Track, wall, gone. A three-run home run for Marquise Grisham. And a 5-4 Indian lead in the eighth. Speed on at third. Here comes Grissom. And safe at the point. Indians win. This count missed it. Beach was off. Did he foul it? Webster dropped it. Grissom touches home. The game's over. Lamar into deep center field. Anderson back. 2-1 Cleveland. Into left center field. Indians win. Well hit in the air to right. Track, wall, gone. And the Indians take a 1 0 11th inning lead. Tony Fernandez breaks through here in the 11th. to deep right field and gone. Here's the 1-0. In the air to right. Sheffield going back. Sheffield to the wall. Goodbye. Squares the bun and gets it down nicely. Martinez with the flip to first, safe. 
Now the Yankees are going to contend as the ball rolls away, and Wilson's being waved home. He stumbles. They may have a play on him. He slides in safely all the way to third. Goes Fryman. The Yankees are going to contend that Fryman was in the baseline or out of the baseline and got in the way of the throw. And right are throwing to be thrown. And Ramirez hits one deep to right. O'Neill looking up. She's gone. In the air to deep right. O'Neill turning and looking. And gone. It stayed up there for an eternity. But when it finally descended, and look at that. There's your example. Third of the inning. Two strikes on Freiman. Into left field, base hit. In comes Ramirez, and the Indians win game one. Tommy hits a drive to deep right center. Away back. Gone. He delivers. Tommy hits a drive to deep center. This ball is going. It is gone. If he has anything close to the career that Omar Vizquel had, simply defensively, the Indians already committed highway robbery. Fly ball, belted right field deep. Back goes Abreu, track, wall, it's gone! The greatest honor I've ever had. Fly ball, be that great. Here's the pitch. Swung out line drive. Base hit right center. It's a game winner. Travis Hafner rips one up the alley in right center. The Indians go to New York. Up two games to none. And a mob scene at first base. One ball, one strike. A high fly ball, right center field. Well hit. Cabrera on the run. Track wall and gone. A lead up for Grady Sizemore. And the Indians jump in front in game four. And the game is over. The Cleveland Indians have won the series in four games. Six to four, your final score. The Indians are headed to Fenway Park. And an era ends, perhaps, in New York. Nixon trying to dump one into center field. He has done that. Around third, coming to the plate is the go-ahead run, safe, Grady Sizemore. And on a hit by Trot Nixon, the Cleveland Indians take a 7-6, 11th inning lead. Here's Kenny Lofton. He is batting 346 this October. Fans start the Kenny, Kenny champ yep. pitch. Swung in and belted, deep right center field. This ball is... One. In the air to right, well hit, through back at the wall, it is gone. Six nothing.
nothing. This one is hit well to right. Back toward the track, and that ball is gone. That ball is tattooed. Deep right center field, and gone. Jason Kipnis, a solo home run. And the Indians have the lead. Lead it three to two. Lindor goes deep to right. Back to the track, to the wall. That ball is gone. The home run derby has broken out here at the bottom of the third in Cleveland. Well, three solo shots. Carl Willis out to speak to his pitcher. He said before the game, second best offense in scoring runs in the American League with the Cleveland Indians. is rifled into the corner in right and it's a fair ball that's going to score a run and now it's a it's called a home run the original signal was fair ball and then the right field umpire brian knight and two drilled to left by coco crisp back toward that wall and gone coco crisp haunts his old teammates with a Bradley and Pedroia, the runners. Here it comes. Fly ball. Shallow right. Chisenhall. Cleveland wins. And the Indians are headed to the American League Championship Series. They have swept the Boston Red Sox. Stolen bases, and only Napoli has one stolen in this postseason. That ball is hit well to right center field, and it's out of here. Francisco Lindor has broken the scoreless tie. Look who's on here in the seventh. And he strikes out Russell Martin. Two up, two down. Struck out the side. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. One down. The ground to Kipnis. Untouchable. Kipnis with a drive, headed deep right field, gone! And the Indians are back on top. Jason Kipnis with a solo blast to right. He breaks an 0 for 13 skid. And the Indians have a 3 to 2 lead. Top of the order, Carlos Santana. Well hit. Right field, way back, and gone. Carlos Santana, homered in game two, homers in game five, Indians 2 nothing. Coco might want to sit on a changeup at some point. In the air to right field, pretty well hit. Bautista back, and that ball is gone. Coco crisp here in the fourth, and it is 3 nothing. Cleveland. Two strikes, here it comes. In the air. Follow territory. The Cleveland Indians are going to the World Series. Two number one starters going at it tonight. All right. Got it one way. All right. All right. Stuck it out. Here it is. Struck him out, well away. Got him right down the middle. Got him looking. Here it comes. Got him looking. Struck him out. Struck him out. Struck him out, number nine. Saluted as he leaves here in game one. Here's a shot in the left. That's pounded. Roberto Perez. Three nothing Cleveland on top. Ball is scorched. High fly ball into left. At the wall. Goodbye. Six nothing. Indians. High drive into right. Back at the wall. This game is tied. Santana. 
his first World Series hit and his third home run of this postseason. 1-1. One, one. Typically 3-1. High drive into right back at the wall. It is gone. Kipnis, a three-run shot. And he busted open here in the seventh inning from Northbrook, Illinois. And around the bases here at Wrigley Field, he's made it 7-1. And with one swing of the bat, Francisco Lindor can make this a two-run game. Lindor bounces in. It hits Ross. A run scores. Here comes Kipnis. He's safe. It's 5-3. Here's David Ross, John, that's had a tough time with concussions. That ball caught him square. And by the time he fell down, got up, Kipnis with great base running is ahead of the tag. That's the first home run allowed by our oldest Chapman since June 18th. And it comes with two outs in the bottom of the eighth of game seven. Bauer was outstanding down the stretch. Two two. Swung on a slow tapper to short. Fires to first low, and Bauer has not allowed a hit through five. Deep left field. Back goes Chisinau, and the Yankees have their first hit of the night. Strike three, call! What a performance by the UCLA Bruin. Bruce with a drive high in the air to right field. Judge at the wall, can only watch. That one gone. The next 0-2. And that hit him. That loads the bases. An 0-2 pitch that hits Lonnie Chisenhall after a series of spoils and foul balls. He's on base, and they're now loaded for one of the best run producers in the game. I think Sanchez thinks that hit the bat. Let's see. That hits the knob of the bat. Sanchez could hear the sound, and it hits the knob of the bat, and he somehow finds his glove. That is a reviewable play, but the Yankees choose not to review it. field sounds eerily like it did no pun intended for game seven of the World Series last year. The ballpark re-energized. Bruce with a drive to the opposite field. Gardner back and this one is tied! Cleveland has come all the way back tonight. This was such a great at bat. He laid off the pitcher's pitches, got the 3-1 fastball away, didn't try to pull it, and this is what makes Bruce so tough. The ability to hit the ball the other way. Ronald Torres is going to run for Todd Frazier, and the Yankees have the go-ahead run at second base. The set by Allen and the pitch to Brett Gardner. He shows and takes a ball up high. Throw back to second. Not quite in time. The Indians may challenge the call. Gomes with a great throw to the shortstop Lindor. Boy, this is going to be some kind of They're call. Put the headset on. Wow, you want to talk about a rally killer right there. That was a fast tag by Lindor. His payoff pitch. Swung on, banged to third, down the line it goes, fair ball, base hit into the corner, here comes Jackson, the Indians win it, and on the 10th pitch of the at bat, he banged a single down the third baseline, and the Indians in one of the most improbable comebacks in Indians playoff.